So my name is Lowell Hunter. I'm a proud Nunyul saltwater man from the Kimberleys in Western Australia, but currently reside on Wadaran country in Geelong. I was really delighted when Melbourne Football Club reached out to me to create this uh, artwork and to be involved in the Indigenous Round for 2023. I call myself a, a sand artist ultimately, but the way in which I do that is I just use my feet to move through the sand and carve through the sand to create these large scale artworks. I've always had this connection with the ocean and being by the sea. So for me, it's about grounding. It's a process of connecting to country. It's a process of slowing down the mind and body and spirit and connecting into the spiritual world of who we are as Indigenous people and particularly for myself. I love to involve my kids as well. And it's also about passing on cultural knowledge to them and telling stories and for them to take time out with me and our family and, and do this is something that's really important. I was really conscious of having you know, a story that was meaningful, that was important to me and my people and my culture and my family, but also resonated with the Melbourne Football Club. Fire became a strong element of the design, having the fire in the middle of the artwork, because that's an important aspect of our culture is sitting around the fire, yarning, talking, discussing, and creating a sense of belonging, particularly for Indigenous players within the club gaining a sense of pride in who you are as well as a football club. I have two sons depicted in uh, the artwork as well. I really want people to wake up in the morning and think about you know, how they're going to contribute to reconciliation. And you need to be thinking about that from the very moment you get up. And then upon the, the sunset, it's really about that reflection. Okay, so what have we done today? What have we achieved? There are also journey lines, and on the outside of those journey lines are midden sites, reminding despite 200 odd years of existence in this landscape, there are these important cultural sites. And then of course we have the people that are depicted around the meeting place, the main circle, and that people can represent the family, it can represent the people that work within the Melbourne Football Club, and it can also represent the Indigenous players that have been involved and are involved and will be involved for future generations to come.